A man is mourning the loss of his father who was killed in a crash by a man who was on the run from police. WDRB's Molly Jett spoke to the victim's son about what he says should have been done to save his father's life. You can see through these skid marks on the sidewalk that Coley Stotts wrecked into Russell Barnett here at 34th and Bank Streets. Family members say Barnett had to be pulled out through the windshield. It was a call no one wants to get. Life's not GTA. Life's not a. It's it's not a video game. It, there's always it's always the same outcome. It's either j jail or the grave. On Wednesday, Zachary Barnett's cousin called him to tell him his father had been killed in a crash. It was a shock. Like I didn't want to believe it. It all started when police say 26-year-old Coley Stotts sped off after an officer tried to pull him over on Flans Avenue in the Portland neighborhood. LMPD says the officer didn't chase Stotts due to a policy that bans officers from chasing suspects who flee after violating traffic laws. Like there's no shade to throw towards the cops because they they did what you know they were instructed to do. Um, and I mean, they they followed every step protocol or protocol that they had. Police say Stotts then drove through an intersection and crashed into another car, killing 54-year-old Portland native Russell Barnett Jr. My father's life was ended because of certain steps not being taken place or punishments not being cracked down on tight enough. Stotts has been through the legal system before. He's faced multiple drug, weapons, and domestic assault charges, and has also been charged with fleeing or evading police at least three other times. Barnett's son believes Stotts should have never been allowed back on the streets in the first place. I just don't understand if he's had prior convictions and even watching the, the chief speak out about it like it, um, I don't understand why he wasn't taken off the street sooner. Stotts, you're being charged with murder. On Friday, Stotts pleaded not guilty to seven charges, including murder, fleeing from police, and weapons charges. Barnett's son is now praying for justice. I really would like to see him have life without parole. If you see red and blue, just pull over. Like, don't, don't escalate it. Don't make it worse than it needs to be. Stotts has a cash bond of $1 million. His next court date is planned for January 22nd. In the Portland neighborhood with photojournalist Chad Cantliner, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.